How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 5 in my Getting Elite Motion Motion Sensor to react to the Raspberry Pi series. Now in the last video we finished up our on-frame method so we've taken care of the method uh, when the Elite Motion is connected to the computer and now what to do with each frame we uh, have it so our Raspberry Pi's cursor is going to follow the finger, uh, index finger position a click is going to occur every time the thumb is brought in, so when it's not extended. And then we took care of these gestures, so whenever there's a circle gesture, if that circle being drawn is clockwise, it's going to scroll down. If it's uh, counterclockwise, then it's going to scroll up. And then if it's a swipe gesture, it's going to launch the start menu, which is going to happen when this swipe method is called. Now in this video, we are going to go over connecting and disconnecting from our server on the Raspberry Pi. So, for our connect to server method, first thing we gotta do is we gotta do a try catch block. So, we're going to try to uh, create our socket. So, socket equals new socket with a capital S. Now, one thing I'll mention is we already created this socket up here is one of our instance variables for this class. If you haven't been watching the whole series, you might want to go back just to see how we have gotten to where we are. Now, what we are going to do in this case is we are going to get our local host. So, for that, inet address capital I on inet capital A on address dot get local host so this returns your IP address for your local host the other thing we gotta put in there is a the server port so server underscore port finish that off and just another reminder server port is this constant up here this uh, static int so we're using port 6000 so what we're doing here is we're creating a new socket. Here's where you put your um, your IP address. So instead of this inet address, you could put your IP address. And what you have to do is put a string of your uh, IP address. So I'm just going to put some random, you know, four, five, six, you know, whatever your, you know, whatever your IP is inside a string instead of this inet get local host. So that's what you're going to do. Now, for this, with your Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to open your terminal, and what you're going to want to type in is hostname minus i. That is how you get your IP address on um, Debian, anyway, the Debian more than uh, Raspbian. Sorry about that pause, my phone was ringing. But like I was saying, type in hostname minus i. That's at least how you do it in Raspbian, but I'm pretty sure it's the same for all the different Raspberry Pi OSs. So type that into your terminal. Whatever IP address gets returned, put that here instead of this inet address dot get local host, but you want it to be as a string. So whatever IP address gets returned, put that here, but as a string. So surrounded by double quotes. So now we have this socket created that's going to connect to the Raspberry Pi. We then are going to create a new print writer. So out equals new print writer. So this is going to send a string to the Raspberry Pi. And of course out's the print writer we created up here. So out equals new print writer. And we are going to pass in socket dot get output stream alright so now we have our print writer created and we passed in our sockets output string as the parameter we are now going to do our catch so if there was some problem here we're gonna catch that error so our program doesn't stop so catch io exception E 
and this is where we our J option pane comes in. So if there was an error trying to connect to the server, we're going to pop up a message saying, you know, error connecting to the server. So J option pane dot show message dialog we're gonna put in as the parameters null comma client so this computer is the client computer the Raspberry Pi is the server so client cannot connect to server all right and now what we're going to do is the next thing we're going to put a comma the next parameter is going to be error inside quotation marks and then j option pane dot error message all right so that's gonna be how our J option pane pops up. And then we're going to system dot exit negative one. So it's gonna exit our program. Alright, so that takes care of our connect to server method. Well now we gotta do the exact opposite, which is disconnect from the server. So here's our disconnect from server method. And we're going to try to close the socket, so socket dot close and then our catch catch I O exception E. So what we're going to do is just copy this J option pane here okay paste it here all we're gonna do is cannot disconnect from server that's all we're gonna change cannot disconnect alright and yep that's all there is to our disconnect from server method yeah so that's all the time I got for this video remember to leave a comment on this video like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one